saying that I have to request remote control. I, I started you? recording. Okay. We That's should fine. be okay. It's, I got the little, little red light going. Yeah, maybe only the host can really do that because I didn't allow that. Yeah. And I don't know if I can do it from here or not. So we, we're recording. We're good. Okay. Sounds good. Well, good, good morning, everyone. This is our third week of learning teams and working with teams. And today I'm going to, we're going to go through, I'm going to briefly go through re reviewing what we did the last two weeks to make sure everyone's kind of up to speed with the, with the major features of Teams. And then we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, we'll see if we wanna do it. I thought maybe we break into small groups, like maybe four, three or four people in each group. And then we'll have you guys work collaborati collaborat collaborating on a document together just to see all the nuances that go on when you are actually working on it on the same document live with somebody else. Uh, when they do something, pop, it pops up in your screen and vice versa. So I think, um, some people talked about that. Michael, I think Baker talked about that. It's it's a little tricky sometimes and it's weird. So I think we'll spend maybe 30 minutes or so at you know the last half doing that. So you guys really get that hands on because that's really the power of this of this um, this application teams is collaborating, especially on documents when you're working on something together to to design something. Um, and then to, at the end we'll just figure out what what we want to do for next week if we want to do another review on some over or if I can show you some more tips maybe in teams or if you guys want me to go on and do one of my presentations that I do for advanced Excel or advanced um, word stuff or we could do a little of both if you'd like so we'll worry about that at the end remind me so we I want to gear the fourth week of training to what you guys really want and need any questions or concerns for today As, as always, feel free to unmute yourself and pose a question. I do have the chat room open on my screen, so I will look over there once in a while to make sure, because I'm usually an audio comes in too that tells me something's going on. I hear Thomas, you, you called in twice, but you have no audio. Does that, can you hear me, Thomas, or I just, you just can't speak, do you know? I guess I have to unmute myself, huh? Yes. Yes, you do. Yep, I hear you. You're I bailed time. out on the phone uh, after two tries. I'm in the computer. Now I'm tethered. I don't like to be tethered, but here I yeah. am. Okay. Well, good. Glad you're on. I can, we can hear you. You can hear me, so we're working fine. All right. All the names in here. Oh, Patrick Campbell. Were you, was, he, was he here last week? I can't remember. That seems like a somewhat new. And B. Miller says she has no microphone, but you can hear. So if you have a question either put it in the chat room and I'll, I'll look over there for it always like i said unmute yourself and feel free to ask the question so let's go over a little bit a review of what went on the last two weeks right now you see this is teams left hand side we have activities we have chat we have the teams we have files so if i click on files these are all the files that have been uploaded to a, a message somewhere or possibly um, a, a chat or someplace. So they're uploaded. This is where you can see all of the files across all the teams, across all the channels. Just a nice little place to look at. And if you go over the way to the right, there's three dots. You can click on, you can edit in Teams, you can open in a browser, you can download the file to your place. So right from there, you can, you can access and start editing those things. Typically, you probably won't go there for that, Normally you would be in your teams. And if you look at my, these are the teams, there's a first, my first team, here's a training team. Every time you have a team is created, it always gets this general one. And it, it just keeps track of what's going on. See how it says Todd has added somebody, Todd has that. It, you don't normally do responses there, but you can. But for the most part, that's more of a general one that's automatic. And then last week we had everybody in playground one or, or playground two or playground three, which is down over this way, we added some more stuff in here. I had you guys add your own. Remember we made up teams, there's four hidden ones here. Um, playground three and four. And just looking at inside the training team, here's the general one that's there. I, I created an advanced Excel and we had some discussions going on here. It looks like just me and Mr. Teams were doing that one. I added another one last week. Michael Baker gave it a thumbs up with a, the animation one. That's kind of cool. Here's the PowerPoint one. And then the word tips and tricks. You notice at the top when you're in a channel and you guys can create channels, even though you're not the owner of this 
of this team, you guys can still um, add these things in here, add channels. You cannot create a team, only certain people can, can, create, can, can create, create the teams. And in your case, I think do it or somebody there, you guys have to go ask special permission for that. So they got you guys kind of locked down, but that's okay. As long as you have, you, only, you don't need that many teams really. Usually teams can be either by a division, you can create teams for certain projects, or you can create teams that, that'll do maybe either topics. So you can create your team that informs to do those things. <clears throat> if you notice my word tips and tricks, at the top here in any of the channels, we always have posts. And that's what's called, these things inside here are the word tips and tricks. These are called, they, they call them um, conversations because you can have a conversation, but really they're like messages or posts. And that's why they call them posts up here. And that's what's going on. It's showing you all these. If I want to see what files are associated with the word tips and tricks channel, here it is. There's only one. And now with these three dots, you can do things. You can copy the link. You can make this a tab. Remember when we make this a tab, I'll just do it here for a review. It actually puts that at the top here. So now people don't even have to go, go find it somewhere else. It is right there. Here's the post. I can quickly with one click go to that 18 works and now I can actually start working on this file. So if you have some document that's going to be shared with, some, with your team in this channel, you might want to put that document, whether it be a spreadsheet, a PDF, or whatever. I just make it a tab so it's one click away rather than if you're in the posts, and if this thing gets long, all, you know, your, all your messages and conversations going on here, you may have a hard time finding, well, where was that? You know, where did I put that word thing? But here it is at the very top. You know? So that's just kind of handy. And if you want to right mouse click on it, I can rename it. If I want to name it something else, I can the settings or I can actually remove it. In this case, I'm just going to remove it for now because that's the review there. Notice at the bottom here, I actually added I thought I had some more. Oh no. Um, Web Playground One under add a file to your post channel. And if you guys want to, you can flip over back and forth. I'm just demonstrating, but if you want to go look at that stuff in yours, you can, if you have two screens, you can actually have them both open and fly over there and see. But I can see I added some more stuff here for you guys to play with later on when you're gonna, you can, you can upload your, our, when we break out into our small groups, you can actually upload a file or just play with these that I have here. 10 retirement planning mistakes, 11 best Microsoft team tips. I threw some other stuff up there. And I wanna actually add one. So if I wanna add one, I'm gonna add um, Teams Training. I can type this morning. Agenda. So I make a title for my uh, right now, this, this is called a, a conversation I'm creating right now, um, or a post. I'm going to go down here on this little clipper thing. Remember, if I click on this A, that you can do formatting. This is where it allows me to do, I can add, I want to bold this. You can add a lot more stuff in here. You can add text color. You can indent things. You can add bullet points. You can do a lot more stuff inside of here. But I'm going to just trash that for now. Oh, close. Oh boy, I should have kept that one, huh? Hey boy. Um, teams training agenda. I'm not going to format it. I'm just going back here. I want to, I want to actually browse, I mean, upload it from my computer. Teams training June 2020. I'm going to open it up. It's going to upload it. And now I'm going to either hit return to actually post my message or hit this little arrow key down here. This little, looks like a little, paper airplane, boom. And now you guys should see that one. So now we have plenty of stuff. And if you guys want to download that Teams training, you can see the notes I used. And I have some little um, stuff in there to remind you maybe that, oh, that's how Todd did that. So that, that might be handy for you guys. Um, okay. So we got the Teams. We went through channels. We went through conversations. And anytime someone can reply to something and say,
I replied to myself, which seems kind of silly. You guys can reply to those things. And that's how your conversation gets going. And those things can get pretty long. If, if a whole bunch of everyone on your team starts replying to your, to your, your conversation you started, that's how you're building. It'll, it will get long and this thing will get long here, which is fine. That's what you want. You want things working like that. Any questions about teams, channels, or conversations? I'm going to just hold it off here. See if anything comes into the chat room. Or anyone want to um, ask me a question or, re or go over something one more time? Feel free to unmute yourself and let's go. Otherwise, you can give me a thumbs up and we'll keep going. I think there's thumbs up, isn't there? I'm not seeing anything, so that's probably a good sign. All right. I think at the end yesterday or last week, we finally got into chats. You notice right now I have a two, a circle two here, and I have one in the activity because Jennifer reacted to my message, which is fine. It's great. Things pop up here as a reminder saying, hey, someone, this is something new you haven't read yet. Let's go ahead and look at it. So if I go click on the chat room, we noticed that Elizabeth Shue responded back to me and also did, did Keelan they responded back to me. And I, I asked him, is your first chat with something using Teams? With someone, and he says, I thought I've used the chat on Teams before. Well, great. Elizabeth, I said, are you getting are you attending today's training over here? And she said, yes, I am. I sent that this morning at 830 and she responded 51. So great. So that was nice. Now, as you keep going on, you're going to this chat might get very long. Here's something called a filter. So you can filter by name. So maybe I only want to look at Elizabeth. So I just go type it and now I'm only seeing hers. If I want to filter it out to only do Keelan. Now I only see that one. Cause you can, if you have like, you know, 30 different people in your team that can get long. So that's a great way to do it. And then you can also mark something as unread. Let me go back to here once. If you roll over a thing, cause maybe you, you read this, but you want you need to be reminded about it again. You can mark as unread, and then now it's it's reminding you again. You can go back and it bolds it, so now you can go back and get it. Also, if this thing gets pretty long, there's a pop out chat, which is a new feature just came on about a month ago. Or you can get the same thing here. You can pop it out. So what this does just puts in another window. So maybe you just need to put it to your side over here because you want to keep responding to that, and maybe go back and work on a channel. You know, and over here. Because I need to be doing something here with what they said. So now you have both things open at once. And to close the window, which is kind of nice, and you can make it, you can make it, I'm pretty sure, bigger, bigger or smaller. No, it wants to be that size, you little fart. Okay. But you just close it. Go back to chat. Now go, go back and read my one there. Good. But this, to start a new chat, I'm not sure if we did that before. Um, that's your filter. Up, oh, I got to get my screen I'm being covered this is the new chat button so if you want to start a new chat you'd start it here and I'm going to enter the name I'm going to get um, mark good morning now I'm saying to mark He's a new guy in our chat and the, I got to figure out how you, maybe Mark, you can rename yourself, go in your settings and see if you take off that percent sign. Or, it must not like your space or something between your name or so. I'm not sure, but a couple of couple people have that. But if you go, I think over here to the right hand side in your, your edit your profile, you can change your name right in there. You can take off that percent sign. And if you want to do first name, last name or last name, comma, first name, it's up to you. you can, here's where you upload your picture, remove your picture, just so you guys do that. Remember it's over here on the right hand side under edit profile. All right, this is kind of nice. These little arrows, I, on my screen, remember my arrows are here because I'm using a Mac. These arrows for you are actually, excuse me, are actually over here. Your arrows, your, your, your arrows are over here. The, your, um, on, on this side, where this little thing is over here, that's actually over this way more, remember? Oops, look at that, Michael's saying good morning to me and Burns is testing, it's working, Carmen. 
it came across my phone because I have that device hooked up and I have it going to that member. It's going to two different places. Um, it's going inside my Teams, but then also to my app. So that's kind of nice to be able to do that. Okay. Um, this just allows you like a web browser. It'll switch pages to go back from where you were before. Because if you want to go back and see, I'm, I'm just going back. It's like, oh, I, it was a page before that one. You can do the same thing by hitting Teams or go on the chat on the left hand side or looking at your activities. You know, you can do the same thing. But sometimes you, if you just go back one window, it might be faster just to use your arrow keys, which are actually over there. These three dots on the max, this is your close, minimize, and expand, which you guys have your dash, I think, square and under, underscore. That's over on this side. That's the only difference between using a Mac and a PC, no biggie. Okay, some chats came up. Remember, guys are responding back to me. There's letting me know that. That's great. I can look at them. Um, activity. I'm not sure if we went through activity before. But this shows a list of the completed uploaded files. Oh, I'm sorry. It shows all your unread messages, at mentions, replies, and more. And as you, there's a lot of stuff going on here. You see how long this is? This one also has a filter feature. So if I turn this on, I can look at only my ats. So it pulls up every time that someone added, at mentioned something. You could just go by name. Who? Here's Baker replies. You can filter by something that's inside of a channel. I mean, maybe the name of a channel. So it's like add. Remember, we had an add, add a file. See, it's coming up here at the top. Add a file. So I can I can quickly go over there. And here's adding. Here's the word adding the PowerPoint. If I want to switch it, see, I can quickly switch rather than having to go find out where that was. If you remember, if you remember the names of your channel, here's the PowerPoint. It's, a, it's in the training team's PowerPoint, so I can quickly, here's, the, and then here's where uh, someone responded in, in, in a conversation with the word PowerPoint. Here's the channel, and here's the actual, someone who mentioned PowerPoint in their response. Now, if you look at this, you can actually mark something as unread again, if you wanted to. You can reply quickly. Um, I'm not sure we would do anything else here, but that's very, very handy the filtering inside your activities. I would like to pause here quickly. Can everyone go to hit your activity? This is when we get to do it now. Go ahead and click on your activity button and maybe go ahead and try a filter. I know I'm not sure how much stuff you have here, but just try and filter to something and see what happens just to make sure you get a feel for what happens. I'll give you about a minute. When you're done, just give me give me a signal or just um, unmute yourself and say I'm done or whatever. Throw something in the chat. All right, Harmon Burns is done. We have a TG, that's someone new. new. All right, I'm getting, getting a bunch of duns. Does is, is anyone else have their app on their phone so that they're getting these stuff? Responses when someone does something to you? Looks like pretty much people are done there, we're good. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you one, one last thing that's kind of new. There's a couple of things I wanna show you quickly. Over here, on Microsoft Teams over here, we have, remember we have, you can quickly, if you, I always leave mine on available, but if you're working at work, you know, and you're, you're gonna be gone or you wanna be, you know, you're, do not disturb, you can switch your thing. So people see that show up in their little dots. If you remember, look on the left-hand side here, um, Keelan's got a green check, green check, green check. Mr. Bird, he's not, he's got an X, he's not in, he, even though he's on my left-hand side here, he just says he's not. 
Um, someone has a, maybe this is whatever, here's an X, Amy's not in, Lisa Jones, um, she's not here. But that's where that, you can quickly switch to those if you want to show someone, let you know, I'll be right back or I'm away. So you might, if you're working on a team and you guys are really doing a lot of stuff in here, you might want to make sure you use those things. If someone knows maybe you're busy, not, you're not going to be responding back to them right away. You know what I mean? So if you're available and you're working and you can respond back, then you make sure you have that green light, green thing going so they know that. I want to look at the settings here under general and you guys can go there if you want to by default it's called a light theme there's also a dark theme i'm going to just going to click it i'm going to show you what it looks like you can see some people like to work like this where it's dark the background is dark and it, it, it's, it's eye popping to me it's because it's a, a dark there's a nice contrast there if you like that that's how you'd switch that to that i'm going to go back and show you where i did that under settings i use dark there's also a high contrast which is really popping it out it's showing the whites that's a little hard in my eyes so i'm gonna go back to the dark that's a little easier using more of a grayish background i'm gonna go back to the white because i think it's easier for you guys to see notifications this is where your stuff you can change some of the stuff like your your mentions the personal mentions you get a banner and email or you can only do a banner or only show in the feed um the banner is what, what's popping up inside your your app or inside teams by, these are these came by default, so I've just left them that way. But this is where you can actually go around it if you need to. It's like, I don't like that one. I only want to be shown chat matches. I, I only want to use a banner for that. I don't care about, I don't want to be emailed every time something like that happens. So this is, that's where you actually show that stuff. This other stuff, I'm not worried about it. This is where you can actually look at your speaker, your microphone. You can change stuff here if you had a different device. Your camera, if you had two different cameras to work with. You can actually switch to different cameras. I'm using my built-in FaceTime camera from Mac. So just some places to, to do some stuff. Some of your settings. Any questions about settings over there? Seem pretty straightforward. All right. Here's the two things I want to show you quickly is I'm going to go to Playground 1. I don't know how helpful this would be, but it's kind of a neat feature. I'm going to say, get to know everyone. And I'm going to scroll to the top because in this one here, we actually have a little bit of something going. We have three people responding. If this was a long feed and maybe there was some good information there, maybe you wanted to, take, to do dictation and actually maybe type it into something else like a Word document. If you go to here, we have an immersive reader. So it's going to actually read this out loud. I hope you can hear it. I'm going to hit the play button. Ellis, Brian at Friday, June 12th, 2020, 10.06 a.m. Hello, everyone. I need a vacation. Valenti, Keelan at Friday, June 12th, 2020, 10.07 a.m. Hi, Brian. Ellis, Brian at Friday, June 12th, 2020. 10.08 a.m. Good morning. Well, that's kind of a neat feature, especially with someone who has, you know, seeing, seeing impaired a little bit, that that might be helpful. Or like I said, if I would do it like me for dictation, if there's some good stuff in there, I think you can still copy and paste, yeah, in here. So that may, but some people like to listen to it and just type, you know, it, it, it'll work. But that's kind of a neat feature that's built in. It'll actually, you know, talk to us, the immersive, read, immersive reader. And I did that anything, anytime you're on something, you roll over your, remember those three dots, the ellipse, which was called the more options, go there, use the immersive reader. When it comes up, you just say, Bigelow, play by Crystal bottom. at Friday, June 12th, 2020, 10.07 a.m. Hello, it's Crystal Bigelow, thankful for another sunny day. We have solar panels. All right. One last feature I think is, is pretty slick. For some people who are really good about typing and they prefer to type everything out. They use hotkeys when they're, you know, using their um, like Word or Excel, I'd use your, your, your option key or control, cut, copy, paste or whatever else. Up at the top here, this is called the command bar or the search bar. If you, just like it says there, if you type in a, sla a forward slash, it comes up with a bunch of things you can do. You can quickly change your status to away. 
You can set your status to available just by clicking on that one there. You can go um, do set your status to do not disturb. You can go to, so if I type in go to, hit the tab key, now I can type in something. I can go to playground three. And now I'm, I'm at playground three, here's what's going on. It's in an, and it goes to playground three by default, it's going to general. So here we are at general. If I want to do, um, you can call somebody from there if you want to. You can um, use a, an at, you can quickly get to somebody and, and then quickly do like send them a message. You can do an at files. And that one didn't work, did it? Well, we won't use that one. But that's just kind of a handy way for, to get to places and do things to quickly find stuff. So if I want to do an at Michael, I can just I can click on that and now I'm ready to type a message directly to him. He's easy because he's he's right there. So now I sent sent a message from right from there, right from your command. <clears throat> The command box search bar. And it finally went through and Mike and he got it. So we're good. Any questions about that search bar, command bar at the top? You guys want to just take a minute, a minute there and go do it? Just so, um, try something, see if you can just search for something. Command files, enter tab. No. Give you a minute. Go ahead and just type something in there. If you want to go find somebody, if you want to find a channel, slash, go to, hit tab, and then you can go to it. Because at some time, you may have many, many channels, you know, and lots of different teams in there. And if you just know which ones you want to go to, and I've typed the word add, now I can add a file, go to that specific channel, add a file in Playground 1. Boom, it's right there. So the slash bar is a great pro tip. Yep. Good. Is there a help? Yep, see that? Slash help, take me to help. What would happen if we put slash Apple computer, right? <laughs> it doesn't have anything. <laughs> I thought maybe come up something funny. Okay. Any questions about what we went through today? Um, the new, th new settings that we went over today is that enable the dark mode in the app if you like prefer that dark. Is anyone actually using the dark? They like that better than the white? Let me know, just put in the chat, say you, yes you do. Um, we actually did command box, search box. The one thing I didn't go over with was, was um, calling. Let's see, if I just click on somebody, I know um, add a file. Add a tab, who's all in here? Michael, if I click on, if I hover on Michael, and if I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a call to Michael, I'm not sure if he's a camera or not, but Michael, see if we, we can just do a video call. If you don't have video, it's fine, but let's just see if we can do this. I'm assuming you can see my, and if, if Michael actually answers the call, he should come on, we should both be on. There's, there's Michael. Hey Todd, good. All right. I don't see you, that's fine, but can everyone see that if the MB is here, so Michael's picture would be there. But if you want on your team, you can quickly call someone just directly with a video call, or I'm gonna, well, let's, I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna hover over, I'm just gonna do the, the call audio. And Keelan, if you can answer that, please. Maybe he can't. Eventually it wears out. There he comes. Hey, Keelan. Hi. Oh boy, we got a little echo going, but that's fine. Because we have, we have, if there was just Teams, it wouldn't be here, but we're using, remember, Zoom and Teams, and they're both interactive, so we get some crazy things going across. But good to hear your voice. I'm gonna have to hang up on you now so we can get back to work. All right. Everybody see how that worked? I, I, that's a feature we didn't go over, but if you think that's um, pertinent, anytime you can roll over someone's name and you can quickly go to there with a call, with a video, um, view organization, you can do some other stuff, or you can do it from over here, same thing. You can, anytime you see their 
little circle or if they have their picture in there, that's how you can quickly do a quick call and say, hey, using inside Teams rather than picking up your phone at the office, whatever it is. I think it's a great little way. And I've seen on TV now, those, that, the commercial for this, they had the four way going. And you can certainly do that two or three or four different ways using Teams. So it's great. Now I think we need to turn it over and let's go work on collaboration. Do you guys want me to add you to um, put four or five people into a small groups so that way you can work together? And then I what I would suggest is either you can upload something to work on, or if you go to my add a file channel, remember I have all, you guys could work off of here. To work on a file, there's a couple ways to do it. You can actually click, click on it here to edit in Teams. You can go to, if you guys have it as a, if it was actually up here as a tab, some that's, you might have one up there as a tab, but you can certainly do that. You could, otherwise, if you go to the files over here on the left-hand side, everything is listed here. And then when you roll over the more options, you can edit in Teams, open, or whatever. So there's different ways to do it. You can do, like I said, you can do it from the Teams here or whatever. Oh, really? Mike, Michael says, I, I had more on my list here to do. That's maybe because I'm I'm the, I'm the host I'm, I'm the owner. That could be, but you can edit in Teams. That's the main thing. We're gonna because we want to tr keep it editing in Teams, and I think you have that option. I believe from either here or from here. You can either click on there the ellipse, or I sometimes over here. If you right mouse click on it, the same stuff comes up. And this is the main one you want: edit in Teams. Can everyone see edit in Teams? Go ahead and try it once. Let's make sure we can get to there. Guys, some people respond back, make sure we, we can do that. Looks like Car Carmen said yes, you can get it. Okay, you see those options. Now, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, I doubt it. Is, is everyone okay with, with going in a small team so that way you guys can collaboratively work on it? Or what's, let's demonstrate what's gonna happen here. Let's do a, um, uh, which one I want? Let's go to our word tips. I'm going to edit in Teams. Maybe let's everybody go in. Can, can everyone do the same thing I just did now? Let's go back, let's, go, let's do that one. The, let me know when you're there. Now I want you guys to actually do something in there. So what I'm gonna do, you guys should see it here. Once I hit on highlight this color, that should show up on your screen. I see Michael's in. BC's, okay, you guys are good? Do some stuff, that's good. I don't know, you can probably see my screen now if you wanna watch and see people are doing stuff to my to this document. Everyone's typing stuff me in, that's good. And I think if you, if two people are trying to do work on the same text, whoever hits return first, theirs is gonna go and that's gonna be immediately edited, I, I'm guessing, unless that's, that's deleted, then it may, that person's stuff won't go through. Or maybe it will paste back, yeah, it'll paste back. But see what's going on here, people are doing all different stuff. So that's what I want, we're gonna do. I'm gonna break you guys off into small groups. You guys as a, as a group, pick which document you wanna work on. Maybe hopefully each group picks a different one. Um, so let's go back to Teams. I'm going to go to my, uh-oh, where's my more control? Breakout rooms, never mind. So I'm going to have four rooms. I'm going to create four rooms. Do you guys, okay, I, I can manually put you guys in the rooms or I can create, let, let it do it automatically. Let's do it, all, is it okay to do it automatically? Just let, let Zoom randomly put you guys in the, into um, rooms. Or do you guys have a project you want to work on as a small group? First one responding back, that's going to be the, speaks for the majority. Doesn't matter. Random's good, all right, here we go. Now, I'm, I think you guys are going to get a response. In it, there's four people, five, four, four. I'm gonna open all rooms. And I think you guys can actually go, are you guys have a, um, something to go into your room?
Let me know if you guys are in your rooms. I think you have to join your room. And now within Zoom, you guys can talk to each other using the Zoom controls. Remember, you have, you're like you have your own little Zoom going on right now. When you guys are done, well, I'll let you guys play around. Let's see. For about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to close the rooms. You guys, let's all come back. Let's meet and let's plan for next week, okay? So, so you guys can actually keep going. Now, C. Bigelow, you didn't join yours yet. And Lori Graham didn't join, but maybe you guys aren't on. Brian Ellis did not join yet. Mark Burgess did not join. Um, Patrick, can you can you tell on um, voice or can you unmute? Hey Patrick, Patrick, can you type your um can you hear me? Address? Hey Patrick, what's your email address? Is Patrick, is Patrick gone? Hey Patrick, do you have a, you have a microphone? Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you now, yes. What's your email ID? You, you're not in Teams, correct? Yeah, I just put it in chat. Uh, it's patrick.campbell at illinois.gov. I see it now. Thank you. Because uh, you, you, you're new. I thought I should ask that before. I, I need to send you an invite. Then you can jump in, okay? Here comes your invite. Anybody else not in? I thought there was someone else that... Oh, um, Martha, Patrick, let me know when you have to click on something when you get your invite. I see breakout three, those people are, are still in there. Breakout one room has people. Looks like the breakout two room, Antonio, Deonce, Lori Dahm, and Mike Baker. Are none of those people here? Lori's here. Are you guys, you're, you're, back, you're out of your room, you're back in the main room? And Antonio also? And you guys can do the same thing um, from the main room too. You don't have to be in your little room if you want, you know, if you want to just do it from the general area in teams. You can certainly practice, you know, working on that. We still have another about 10, 10 to 12 minutes to be working on collaborating. And Laura and Tony, this is Mike. I shared a sample document with you that we all could pop into. It should be in your Teams feed somewhere. I use the add function to send it straight to you. Oh, did you? Um, what was the name of the file? Do you remember? Uh, 2020 dash 04 are we a hiring companies i don't see it there i see a cd wednesday webinar 3.4.2 pdf someone played shared i didn't upload the file to the file folder i put it in a post with an ad to laura and tony do you remember what teams what channel it was in playground one general playground general Okay, I'm going there. Yep, I see. I see. Now this one says 922 you sent something. Let's look at the files. 
There it is. Under files, there it is. So if anyone wants to go there, we're in the playground two under general, the general channel. And if you go to the member up here, switch the files, here is the file. So you can either from here, you get those three dots, the ellipse, you can click on it and you can, well, this one wants to make it a tab. It won't let you get into it right, just from here, I think, unless you, well, maybe if you just click on it, let's see. Yep, it's gonna open it up just by clicking on it. You don't have to right mouse click on it, just clicking on it. And now we can actually go ahead and do some stuff here. Everybody see that? I'm gonna go back to that one more time. If you wanna just play in this general area rather than being in small, small groups. Looks like everyone's almost out of the small group. Nope, group three still working. Um, under the playground one, under general. Was somebody trying to call me from Elgin? <laughs> and then you can just, just click on it and that, that'll bring it up so you guys can edit. Thanks for doing that, Michael. I'm gonna actually do a, I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna go join breakout room three in their, in their um, the breakout, just to see what happens. So I don't, I don't know if I, if, I won't be, be able to listen there, right? I'll be right back. Okay, let me, let me try, try this. It always kicks me to the top of the document, but it won't let me do anything. Hey guys, this is Todd. I just, I just popped in your room, see how things are going. Hi, Todd. Everything's going well so yeah. far. Okay, um, you guys got another um, um, eight or nine, ten minutes to play around some more. I'll, I'll okay. let you know when we're going to come back to the main group. I'll see you. Have any questions for me? Uh, not right now. Okay, good. Do you have any questions, Elizabeth? Uh, no, I, I've got it. I actually got it to do something. So you should see if you go on down to like number nine, I did do a tell size and underline, so I got it to actually edit okay. something, so I'm good. <laughs> All right. Cool. cool. All right, yep, there we go. Good. I'm going to bop out. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Hello everyone, I'm back. I just popped in on that room. Were you guys able to see that when I broke into that, that room, the breakout room in Zoom or not? I don't, know, I don't know what Zoom would do when I pop over there as the host. If it just leaves my team screen up for you guys, or did it go to blank? What did anyone tell me what, what happened? I'm kind of curious. Todd, it went to blank. It did, okay. So what happens is, because I left, because I'm the host and I left to go into a room, it just went, it, it didn't know what to share anymore. So it went to that blank screen. Okay, that's good to know. Normally when, I, when we do this, there's two of us as, the, as a host and then one would go check on, or you know, the host would never leave. We have one person being the host and the other ICCB staff would be in there and then we just go pop in in the rooms to see if there's any questions and then we come back. And that, that way, whoever didn't go to that room or whatever group gets done early, someone, the host is still there to greet, meet and greet them and, and continue going on. And you guys use Zoom? Are you guys Zoom users or are you guys mostly that WebEx users because of the state or use both? I use both. Okay. Hey, Todd, do we have a minute uh, to have everybody pop, like open up this document and see the different ways you can open it up? Um, you can, if you go into the files link, and I, I made this file a, a, its own tab, there's a purple, well, on my screen it's purple, edit button with a drop down in the upper right hand corner. You can edit the document in Teams, you can open the desktop app, or you can open it in a browser. Each method for each option allows you to go in and see changes and make changes, but it 
it handles it in a slightly different way. Okay, I'll try and demonstrate that, Michael. Where do I need to go? Which one? So in the in the playground one general, I made the document its own tab. Up, up here at the top, can you see mine? Yeah. So when you open it up in the upper right hand corner, you have um, there's an edit button and a drop down with three options of how you can edit the document. I'm trying. I'm trying to get to that. Uh, you might need to maximize the screen. It's not showing up here. Yeah, I, I got I got an editing editing. Make any changes, or I, I can do a reviewing, add comments and suggestions. You've already opened up in Word, I think. Yeah, I in yeah inside. Is it's before I open it up? Yeah. Uh, I opened it in Teams. Um, go out of it and then come back in. Now, now you want me to click? You want me to go in through this way, right? It's, same thing happened. You want me to go in this way? Sure, try it. And maybe the Mac does a little something different too. You know what it does? Uh, can I share my screen? Yep. Can you do it or I have to? Uh, the host has disabled. So you've got okay, to go I'll get it to you. Uh, I thought I could just do that from my more button. New share, advanced portion. No. Oh, do, I, can, do, do I do that from participants? Mike Baker, more. Yep. I'm going to allow, rename, allow you to be host, and then you can share your screen. Sure. You should have it coming. Here we go. Now this is coming from PC. This is more what you guys are seeing. So I've already clicked on the document. Yep. So I, I, I went into, uh, I don't know how I got there. If I opened it up, if I went to the tab. When the document first comes up, first of all, you can see the edit that Todd made earlier to change this to a red highlight. But up here in the upper right hand corner, you see the edit button? Yep. If you just want to do it quickly on the fly and you just got a simple edit to make, you can edit it in Teams. Click on that. It loads Word. And it looks like by default on the Mac, it goes directly to this one. So it loads like, like a, a file version of Word. And, and, and then you see you've got most of the menu options up there. And you can go yep. in and click around and you can zoom in. Uh, this needs more emphasis, so let's put it under audio. And even from in this word, from in this version, if you think, okay, I need everything, you have an option to open the desktop app from within the document. You don't have to pop out and get back in. Okay. Yep. Um, however, you can also download it again. Um, and then if you click on the ellipses up here, you get those options again. So if you're in it already and you want to do the other ones, uh, you can try these other options. And oh, SharePoint pops up as an option now. So let's open up it and then in a browser because that's another quick and easy way to do it. Yep. Yeah, that, it's a little different. I don't know why they you know make a, a difference like that because the Mac, by the, when I do it, it, it thinks you want to go right into that edit and teams thing. But there must be a way a right mouse click somewhere. I'll look around later and see how. If I can, you know, have that option of doing it those three different ways, but that's good that they see now. Because most of you guys are all on PCs, you'll see that that's the option. When you click on it from a tab, now you get to your, your three choices come up. What do you want to do as the edit, which is good. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, this is through the web, so as you can see, we still get most of the word functions up there. Um, I'm in editing mode. However, if you drop down, if you're familiar with Google Docs, this is the way you control what people can do in your document. Editing allows people to go in like they own it and make any changes they want. If they set the settings over viewing, they can suggest 
test changes, so it looks like it works like track changes in a regular document. Yep. And then they can add comments. And any changes they make are going to be highlighted. And then, or if you just want them to be able to look at it but not move around with it, just hit do. So I'm going to change the document. Session here. Can y'all go in and play around and add something? You can add a comment, you can make a change. That's cool. Because if, when people pop in, their cursor is shown. And if you hover over, you can see who it is that we're being and they can change it. And it also tracks it so you know who did it. Um, which is helpful, like if you have a question about what they did, you, you know, who to talk to you know who made it. Good. And again, on the fly, if I want to go into no, I, I need everything that Word has to offer. Click on the desktop app here, and you can go right into it. Okay. You want to see the comments that people have made? Click on the comment bubble. So it works very similar to Google Docs. It's a very non controversial document. When we any comments. But if anybody has ever kind of lost a handle on what they're doing. If you're emailing a document back and forth between several people and people are making comments and edits on top of things, it's easy, uh, at least it is for me, to all of a sudden you're making edits on a document that's not the current version, and then whoever is responsible for it at the end has a nightmare trying to weed out what needs to make it in the final document. Doing it this way, it eliminates all of that aspect. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Michael. Can you? All right. Let's stop sharing the screen now. Back to you. Yep. Send it back to me. Thank you. I think you got to make me the host, Michael. In, in the participant window, are you send it back? You know, it's still there. Wow. Hey, Mike, on the participant window, go ahead and click on my name and say, may host. Sure. Took me a minute to get there. Back to you. Okay, I'm back. You guys got my, see my screen back now? All right. You probably, I'm going to actually, we got a few minutes left. I'm going to close all rooms because the breakout three room are still going at it. What it does when I do that in Zoom, it gives them a, a one minute countdown saying this room will be closing automatically in one minute. So you can finish up and get back to the main room. I'm trying to figure out where that comments, more options. Open in browser. Yeah, I don't, I don't get what. Well, if you're just trying to see on this Mac, that's the, the difference there. It seems weird, but. Uh, um, uh, I'm still seeing mine. You guys can yeah. see mine. It just seems on the Mac, that's the difference. You know, when I went from here, if I click on it, I can edit in Teams, open in browser, but I don't get that open in the, you know, the app part. Once I click on it, it you know, whatever, wherever it is, if it's up here as a tab, it just automatically, if I right mouse click on it, I can, there's settings, but you can't do much to it. I don't know. That's weird. That might be the old Apple Microsoft rivalry that they don't yeah. allow you to make the word directly. Oh yeah. They always, yeah. You don't get all, quite all the features you do on a PC and a Windows version of the, of their stuff. That's right. <laughs> all right. It looks like. Everyone is everyone back? I got 13 people. 
group group three, are you guys back? I think Carmen was there. Antonia was there. Yep, yeah, I'm back, back. Tom Ross. Yeah. All right. Okay, we got just a, a one minute here left, but we can go a little, a little bit longer. Um, any questions about what we did today? Anyone want to unmute yourself or put in the chat box? What's what's quickly just to wrap up here? I got to get my chat room open. One new message. Yep, Miller says if you leave the room, it takes you back to the main session. Yeah, that's the good thing about Zoom. It's it's kind of that that feature just got added not too long ago, and I sort of like it that on a meeting you can because I only have one. We have one Zoom license at ICCB, and hundred people can go there. But now we can actually break off into like for our board meetings, we have the board members break off into their different divisions they need to talk about and then come back. So we like it. Someone's leaving. Don't Laura had to leave at ten. Have to prepare for my next meeting. Have a good weekend. I'm Brian. Let's go, everyone. Good job. So let's talk about next week. Do you guys want me? We want to do a little bit more teams, showing some if I can find some more power tips or something, or do we want to just concentrate on maybe doing Excel for an hour or Word for a half hour and Excel for a half hour? If you want some advanced tips, what do you guys want to do? Put in the chat box or oh, on mic and and let's let's see what happens. I'm here for you guys for one more week. Or one more Friday, I guess. I don't see anything coming up yet. Um, breaking down in teams seems to be really effective. Do what now? Breaking out in teams, it seems to be really effective to actually get the hands on experience. And we can we can do more of this, you know, break off into the rooms and, and, and you don't we don't need Zoom to do that, but it's kind of neat that way you guys can talk through Zoom, and then you, you know and you do your stuff you know showing each other. But we can certainly do that for another half hour, or you know we can do more just team stuff. I mean, you guys want teams training? I just thought I throw that out there because I just learned some more stuff on Excel. So I have one person who would like to do more stuff on Teams for another hour next week, and that's great. Uh, we can do that. I'll find a few more new features. And then we can really just tone our skills so that we really feel, com you guys all feel comfortable just going, creating a channel quickly, you know, doing your messages and your conversations and let's do some chats more and do some of those ads to you know, get someone's attention. It doesn't hurt because if you're only getting an hour a week, if we don't use this stuff, you know, we're gonna lose it. So I think it's a good idea. Is everyone gonna be happy if we just keep doing teams then? Can you give me a thumbs up? Mike, your thoughts? Get your mic open, it looks like. I definitely think we need to keep utilizing teams. To, okay. To things. Like I said, if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much we got out of trying collaborative editing um, with just that couple of minutes, but I don't want to keep beating a dead horse if people think they have it. So I just um, suggest maybe people try it after the session if you have a few minutes today or over the weekend or early next week and if you want to learn more about it or have a review you know we can you know, contact amy and todd or uh, we can try playing around with it uh, just with test documents ourselves during the week if you want so if anybody has any questions about it um, i'll be glad to share what i know yeah and you guys got my email address somewhere in there don't you or just contact me through teams i jump on during the week a little bit just to see what, if you guys have anything going on. But my direct email is tjorns, I'll put, I'll put it over here, at gmail.com if you have any questions. I can type. I need to do that to everybody. My bad. I sent it <laughs> directly to somebody, oh boy. There it is, tjorns at gmail.com. So if you have questions, so let's plan on just getting ourselves a little bit more acquainted to teams so we really feel comfortable. We'll do, a, maybe if you need me go over some stuff, but let's really work on this collaboration side. And if I find some, I have some more documents I printed off that has some more, you know, tips and tricks for people. Um, are, are you guys using SharePoint and, and OneNote at, at your institution? We have it 
some people use SharePoint. Um, I, don't, I used OneNote for a little while, but uh, kind of fell out of disuse. I'm not sure how many people use that. Yeah, I mean, from what I, most people use the Power stuff, like the Power PowerPoint, Excel, um, Word, those are the biggies. Um, it seems like an outlook for your email, of course. But then this Teams is something pretty good. I mean, it's something new and people are, you know, are getting into it. So let's, let's work on this for next week. We'll come back and we'll just do some more stuff and we'll ask people, you know, what do you want? Any feature you want shown again, we'll show it. Otherwise, we'll also take some time again. Let's break off into those small teams and let's really work on a document together so everyone feels comfortable and knows what's going on. So we'll work on that. If something changes or you want other topics, um, just email them to me or Amy, you know, before, before Friday, and then we can, we can, we can go from there. That sound good? Uh, just a suggestion. Um, yep. See, breaking out into small teams might be worthwhile eventually, but I think initially, if everybody can kind of see how it works together initially, might be helpful. Uh, that way, everybody can make sure they're you know see the key features, and then if they want to play around, um, you might you know transition to that but i would suggest starting out with everybody in the same document okay and walking them through it so it's consistent and everybody sees everything that they I, need to. I, I think it's a good idea yep. we'll go with that well i'll just keep the document open on mine and we'll, we'll work from there and we'll you know do some more stuff and make sure everyone can actually open it start start from the beginning when we go back to there to make sure everyone because some people came out a little late and some people may have missed it i know one person patrick i don't know if he's got back on here or not but he, he he couldn't see the teams. He didn't have his, you know, he, he popped in, but didn't know that he had to contact me to get in. So there's a couple of people I think that didn't have it. So we'll work on that. It sounds good. We'll do it as a, and like I said, anytime, even if I'm demonstrating something, you can actually go off and, you know, chat, get somebody else in a chat, throw a document in, and you guys can just start, two people can work on their own without us even knowing it. That's what's the beauty of, of teams is you can form your own little teams and, and just work on documents together if you get kind of bored with what we're doing as a general one. But I appreciate that, you guys. Everyone have a good weekend. Take care, and hopefully you can pop into Teams a little bit and during the week, gets more familiar. And I'll see you guys next Friday at 9 o'clock. I'm going to end the meeting Thank now. You, Bye, everybody. See you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care, everyone. Thank you. I will stop the recording or I'll end the meeting in just a second here, Kirsten. Now it's just you and I. You have okay. a any, any questions for me? You can stop the recording, but, I, but I'll just I'll end the meeting otherwise. We're done. OK. Do you want to just send me the recording then, Todd? Well, you started it though, didn't you? On your computer? No, I you started okay. it. I couldn't start it. Remember. That's right. We can do it. Yep, I'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.